I present to you Tools and Equipment by Michelle and Giselle. The first category will be about hand tools. Now in hand tools, we have our fruit and vegetable tools. And the tools we have are our cores, our peeler, our zester, and our box grater. This over here is the main core we use to core our stuff such as tomatoes and apples. And over here is used to mainly peel potatoes. The zester is used to skin the outer surface of citrus fruits, which add visual interest and flavor to foods. And over here is our box grater, which we use to grate our cheese, but you could also grate other stuff such as carrots. I also forgot to mention our vegetable brush, which we use to scrub dirt off our potatoes. Now over here are our spatulas and scrapers. This is a straight spatula which is used to spread things, such as how we spread our sauce on sandwiches. This is offset spatula which is used to flip pancakes. And this is a rubber spatula which is used to scrape food from inside bowls. This is our bunch scraper which is used to scrape off the surface and to cut dough into even pieces. Next we have our cheese slicer which is used to slice hard cheese. Then we have our butter curler which is used to garnish our butter. Then we have our pizza cutter which is used to obviously cut pizza and we have our egg slicer which is used to slice eggs. These are kitchen shears which is different from scissors. It can perform multiple tasks. And over here are our cutting boards which is used to cut on and remember that we use different color boards for different things. And now we have our spoons. This is a solid spoon which is used to mix and scoop. This is a perforated spoon and this is a solid spoon and they are both used to lift anything up from liquids. We also have a skimmer, which is used to skim impurities from the top of liquids. These are different types of strainers. These strainers are used to take out the things such as vegetables from your pot. This is a china cap, which is used to strain sauces and stocks. This is a colander, which is used to rapidly drain the liquid from our cooked foods. And lastly, this is a food mill that is used to puree and strain foods. Over here are pastry tools. This is a pastry bag, and they are usually filled with icing for hand squeeze pastry decorating. Pastry tips are placed onto the pastry bag and they give a different design when the icing is squeezed out. These are pastry brushes and they are used to brush the liquids onto foods. Lastly, we have these extra equipments. This tool right here is called the pie divider. The pie divider helps make a mark on the pie for equal cuts. This over here is the rolling pin and is used to roll and stretch out dough. This is a food mold and it can turn types of food into its shape, such as jello and cakes. This is a whisk and they are generally used to whisk eggs while the rich whisks are longer and thicker and they are used to mix thick sauces and batters. The tool over here are called tongs and we use them regularly for our functions. This is a meat tenderizer which is used to tenderize meat and this is a chef's fork which is used to lift and turn meats and other things. Lastly, this is a funnel and is used to pour any liquids from a large container into a smaller one. Our next category is measuring equipment. These are our different types of scales. This is the portion scale and this is an electronic scale. They both weigh the item that is placed on their scale, but the electronic scale would be more accurate than a portion scale. Over here is a balance scale and is usually used to measure out baking ingredients. 